Hi, uh, this is Father Todd, uh, rector at St. Mary's Episcopal Church, and I wanted to just take a, a minute for us to reflect a little bit about something that's been on the national mind uh, for this past couple of weeks, and that is the, the, the really vicious shootings that have happened, uh, one in California, and then in Texas, and finally in Ohio. And I know numbers of, of, of you all, certainly in our family, we've been talking about it, thinking about it, and there's this heaviness uh, about trying to figure out how it is that we think about it, how it is that we process it. Um, so I, I, I wanted to share with you uh, just uh, a way of being able to think this all through. And I think about it in terms of, of circles that start at the center and then go out from there, like, a, like ripples from a pond. And so to think in terms of, of starting at the center, and, uh, and that has to do with how we feel. Lots of times we can, we can kind of go on and have lots of feelings, but we never stop to think about how it is that we feel about what we're experiencing. And so this opportunity really for prayer to be able to sit down with, with Jesus and uh, imagine him in a chair sitting next to you and for you to be able to talk to him about your feelings, the kinds of things that are going on inside of you. It might feel like that's kind of an imaginative um, mind game if you've never done that before, but, but spiritual writers for, for centuries have, have used imaginative tools like that to help us to, to, to tease apart the different feelings that are in our hearts and to be able to, to use them as a springboard for prayer as we talk to Jesus about things that are oftentimes far more complicated than we can understand and emotions that are deeper than oftentimes we're in touch with. And then if you expand out from that center that is your own feelings and your prayer relationship with God, then to branch out into uh, the relationships of the people who are around you. So, so to, to talk with other people um, who are important in your life, don't hide it or avoid it, but to be able to talk about how you're feeling with them and to be able to give hugs um, to the people who are close to you. Uh, an opportunity to express um, healthy, encouraging, life-giving, love-giving words, as opposed to we've seen a lot of destructive, hurtful words used. So how is it that we can encourage and be encouraged by other people in our lives? And then finally, this, this outer ring that has to do with our, our life together. And uh, so there, we do, uh, we, you know, our, 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 the center of our government is both here in Florida and Tallahassee and in Washington, D.C. And so this is a great time for you to be able to express to our representatives, they represent you, to express to our representatives how you feel and if there are things that you would like them to be able to do, um, to let them know that they're there working for you and we need to be able to express ourselves uh, to them as citizens of this country who are crafting out the vision of the kind of country and community that we want. Uh, here at St. Mary's, uh, we're about, uh, about building community. We're about growing into Jesus and reaching out in love. And so we want to build this community and to work together to build healthy families, uh, healthy communities, healthy schools, healthy churches, so that we can reflect the values of the God who made us. So God bless you as you do your important work of connecting with God, connecting with the people who are around you, and then making a difference in this world. Thanks, you take care.